Uh, so I never thought I'd see the day when I go on Rotten Tomatoes to look at some reviews of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 1. Since this month is Power Rangers Month, we could end up getting some possible reboot updates. Even though this is the month where Comic-Con is available in California. This is the first episode of reacting to reviews of every Power Rangers seasons and films mostly until Power Rangers Day. So I believe there's going to be like what five episodes or ten episodes depending on how many videos I'm going to end up doing of your liking. So yeah let's get into it. Okay, so we all know that Mighty Morphin Season 1 was not the best. It was not perfect by all means. But if you look at some good aspects of it, of great moments that happened in the first season, because it's way iconic in my opinion. Introduction of Zonon, Rita, and number 5 and them to the Dinosaurs, the Green Medieval Saga, the Green Candle Saga, and the original finale. But at some point, Season 1 really involved on being the most iconic season and iconic franchise that the world and the public remembers. So we're going to dive into some critics of seeing what they have to say. There was something charmingly cheesy, loopy, low budget zaniness. I don't know what that word means, but let's just assume that they enjoyed season one overall. Season 1 isn't merry about the production issues that would go on to complicate, screw up the ongoing story, the show made up as it went along. It's still the most flawless season of Power Rangers because it's so simple and relatable. I mean, I guess you could say that though, but even though the show is originated by Japan, thanks to Sentai, of course. We would have probably had an all original Power Ranger season that is pretty much similar to Jew Ranger, but with the costumes being more shiny instead of being made into like, you know, rubber spandex. Jacob Hall, the show is cheesy and cheap and silly, and the fact that the writers were forced to write around action footage they had licensed from a Japanese TV series is painfully obvious, but I didn't care. It's perfectly cute and nice. I agree with this part when it says that even though they find it cute and funny, but I don't like using the word cute. Unless it was a girl, I say it was a her, but not to a guy because I'm not sugar. But I get where he's coming from because the footage is like Japanese and they had to do everything they can in their power to make it work think sometime in the future they're gonna probably do something different with the reboot by not having this Japanese stock footage while going all original and I really think they should if it's done right Jamie Rettney says the series does have a charm to it fueled in part by the cast it's corny at times but so are most of our favorite shows from childhood and I agree so it's not just Power Rangers that it's like Corny, but there are other shows that are like that in the 90s but I wouldn't say not all of them are like that but yeah so we have one person wrote the messenger positive messages are overshadowed by the fact that this show serves as an outlet for a major marketing effort to sell toys and other power and just merchandise boom and exactly even though it's a rotten credit though but I can't be mad at it because it's true you know what I'm saying? Power Rangers is known for being a toy commercial. Every season, there's like this new battleizer, new motorcycle, new weapon, new Megazord, etc. But if the writing is good, if there's a reason why this person and that person is getting it, then yes, I don't see anything wrong with it. But at the end of the day, I feel like to me, season one will always sell because like I said, it's the most recognizable season in the public because that's what people remember because if you try to force other seasons on the people like they're not gonna want to like other stuff so like I said Mighty Morphin season one is not perfect and it's not the best 
It has its moments, but it's the most recognizable one, according to the public. Even some actors and actresses, singers, rappers, no Power Rangers. And you thought I was a stupid one. <laughs> I sometimes think that people don't really understand how business works. Because if the studio decides to go with franchise, this franchise, and that franchise, and they can just somehow come together and make it work, I think people are going to just forgive those companies for what they're doing with their properties. Like, Nick Loney and Financial Turtles, for example. Like, Nick Loney and Financial Turtles is a network that works for Ninja Turtles because they care and they love Ninja Turtles because it's their brand. But with Power Rangers, I feel like they just didn't really care and just give this to us instead. That's personally how I feel. And so now that we went to Netflix and all of a sudden we thought that Netflix was going to be a great home and we was going to get a reboot and they gave us Once in No Ways and Cosmic Fury and Dino Fury Season 2. But unfortunately, Netflix walked away from Power Rangers. So we really are just trying to figure out where does Power Rangers go from here? Are there other networks that are interested in Power Rangers? Is it going to have that same feeling from Netflix like Once in No Ways? I mean, hopefully it does. But right now, we really don't know what's gonna happen but besides that season one of Mighty Morphin is you guys the iconic It's the one that is making us most money It's the one that is iconic It's the most recognizable franchise out of all Power Rangers and like I said if you're trying to force other seasons on to the fans like in space Lost Galaxy Dino Charge Ninja Storm like you're not gonna want to watch other seasons like you can't force things on the people you have to let them see it for themselves if they like it or not so for me critics love Mighty Morphin well the fans that grew up with it but I haven't able to see the top critics though because I think because I think they're the ones that like it some of them but most of them didn't but at the end of the day season one is iconic ain't nothing you can do about it so yeah that is the first episode of Power Rangers seasons reactions from critics from Rotten Tomatoes. So what are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments down below.